this service. Isaiah 6, verse 8. I heard a voice say, Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? And I said, Send me, Lord. Send me. Lord's blessings. Brother Vang, as Jesus sent out his disciples in Matthew chapter 10, he told them to be as shrewd as snakes and as innocent as doves. Be innocent. Allow yourself to exude the true law and gospel of our God and be shrewd. Take every opportunity to communicate this to whoever God blesses you to be in contact with. May God bless you as you be shrewd and innocent. Pastor Vang, when St. Paul wrote to friends and mission-minded people in Philippines, in Philippi, he said, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Have no great anxiety about anything. The Lord is near. In prayer, with petition and praise, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which goes beyond all human understanding, will keep your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus to life everlasting. May that be your blessing in life and your ministry. Brother Vane, always remember in your ministry that you have this blessed promise by our Lord from Psalm 37.5. Commit your way to the Lord and trust in Him, and He will act. Brother here, uh, Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. Kaya chun chun chong, te lo ke bu hava. Kao mo shan ta khai, ji chan chai. Ji chan o ji kha kha. Ha, ji yesu. Kaya yao ka ta chun, te wa chun. Kaya chun. Dear brother in Christ, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. As you shepherd God's people here, remember that you are a sheep, the good shepherd, and he will supply your needs.
just as God loved us and gave his son for us. Pastor Bang, Brother Yim, as you begin this new phase of your ministry here in St. Paul and St. Stephens, I want to share with you a word of the prophet Isaiah, who looked to the promises of God for his ministry, and also I share the same promise with you for your ministry. And the Lord says, in Isaiah chapter 55, as the rain and snow come down from heaven, and do not return there without watering the earth, making it bare and sprout, providing seed for the sower and bread for the eater, so shall my word be, which goes forth from my mouth, it will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire and succeed in the purpose for which I sent it. God sent his son, Jesus, the word made flesh. He accomplished God's purpose for the redemption of the world. And now the Lord sends you out as his prophet, as his pastor, as his minister, to share those words of repentance and forgiveness of sins. And those words, the word of Jesus, will not return empty, but will succeed. That's my prayer for you. God bless you. And now may the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good, that you may do his will, working in you that which is pleasing in his sight. Through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Hebrews chapter 13. Please stand. Let us pray. Merciful God and Father, you have graciously promised that through the preaching of the crucified Christ, those who believe in him will be saved. By your Holy Spirit, grant grace to Ea, whom you have given to be pastor of this congregation. Grant him readiness and steadfastness in this ministry, patience, understanding, and great zeal. Support and strengthen him in your service, that by your word, your church may be built and increased through your Son, our great High Priest, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and most merciful God and Father, through your only begotten Son, Jesus, you have established your church to be a temple and dwelling place of the Holy Spirit. We give thanks that you continue to provide shepherds to feed and serve your flock, in which the Holy Spirit has made them overseers. We humbly implore you ever to strengthen the labors of your ministers, that through their ministry of word and sacrament, the people may increase in your knowledge and grow up into him who is the head, even Christ Jesus, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be all glory, now and forever. Amen. Go, therefore, and be a shepherd of God's flock. Preach the word of God and minister the holy sacraments. Offer prayer for all the faithful. Instruct, watch over, and guide the flock among which the Holy Spirit has placed you. Do it not for earthly gain, but with great joy. For you have been called not to lordship, but to serve his flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the crown of glory that will never fade away. The almighty and most merciful God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless and preserve you. Amen. Ministers may be seated, and you also. We continue in our worship at the gathering of an offering. The offering today will go to the continued mission efforts and work together that we have with the Minnesota South District of the Lutheran Church of Missouri City. Uh, the blessing that it is to be in partnership with hundreds of uh, other congregations and thousands of other brothers and sisters in Christ. We gather our offering.
I invite you to stand as we join us for the church. Almighty God and Father, bless and preserve your church. Strengthen the bonds of unity across all believers and all people. That through your word and sacrament, we may all come to the knowledge of the truth. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Bless and protect us, Lord, from all dangers of body and soul, that we, your people, may live our days in peace. Be with those who are hurting, endangered, and adrift. Call all your creation to repentance and trust, Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Be with those who Lord, who are struggling with sickness. Especially, Lord, on this day, we ask for Diane, for Maureen, for Kay, for Vera, for Al, for John, for Rachel, for Jack and Clarice and Dustin, for Jerome. Lord, for the, all those who are going to you, who are struggling in their health, who are in need of the healing balm of Jesus' resurrection and life to come to bear on them. Lord, in your mercy, for the new things that you are doing here, for new believers, new opportunities, new relationships, bring to us the courage to reach out with your word, Lord, in your mercy. Taught by our Lord and trusting in his mercy, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thy is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Receive the benediction in the Hmong language. Tato Ju for Go Hmong to God, take God. Tato Ju, one of the Jimmy that here to God, there's Luka. Tato Ju, 